Hello, this is Glenn Graham and he plays Mr. Gorse. And this is Michaela Miata and she plays the role of Miss Roach. Uh, on the first day back, um, it felt quite alien uh, for me to step into the studio. It just felt quite bizarre. And the sort of thoughts that were going through my head, which probably you relate to, is can we do this? Or can we create again? Uh, and am I fit enough? So they are the sort of things that were going through my mind. But also, obviously, the thoughts of, of it's nice to be back in the studio, you know, feel blessed, lucky to have this opportunity again. How did you feel, Misha? Yeah, very similar um, to you. I had this sense of coming home and the familiarity of it. But then there was also the nerves of the first day at school. And if anything, I felt even more creative because I felt I'd starved myself of this process for a year and a half. Um, so yeah, I was so pleasantly surprised that everything fell back into place and the body and the brain were still working. Fine. So the, the Midnight Bell is quite a different show, I would say, compared to other shows that Matthew has choreographed and um, the creative process has been slightly different, meaning uh, we have been reading a lot of books um, by Patrick Hamilton. Um, so it's a, I, I find it's a different process because we have less sort of visual references and our references are pages, are sections of books. There is not one main character, there are several characters that you will follow from the beginning of Act 1 all the way through to Act 2. And so I think one of the challenges that Matt has is, is how he puts equal weight to each one of those characters. So that's quite an interesting process, I think, this time around. We are both quite mysterious characters, mm. so um, the relationship uh, is not um, clear straight away. We both have different agendas. Miss Roach, she's very interesting because she's um, quite mysterious and she's still a bit of a mystery to me. Um, so I'm trying to figure out her journey. I start from a place of a a rather lonely woman who's a spinster, um, hasn't been in a relationship and, and although she doesn't want to be close to people and she struggles in social environments, then in front of Gorse and his um, flirting, um, she sort of crumbles and melts and, and then sort of finds this passion. Well Gorse is um, quite a dark, selfish, sort of malicious uh, con man who basically is out to get anything he can get really. I don't think he goes to the pub to enjoy it there. He goes to sort of seek out his victims. Through the creative process I found it incredibly inspiring having uh, the first week uh, focusing on creating material and um, the knowledge that I could create material that wasn't necessarily for my character. Um, I find that really liberating. I think for me it's to, to get to know the other characters and um, seeing what research they've done and how you then you would really relate your character to their character. So I think that's been quite an interesting process. There's been a lot of books that we've been reading over this period. What can audiences expect from the Bernat Bell to expect the unexpected, I think? <laughs> um, I think the authenticity and the truth of what happened around that time. Hamilton really does sort of relate to us all in a way. All of us at some point have been through some of these mm. journeys of relationships and uh, disappointment, loneliness, and I think it will be a very relatable show.